Hey everybody, today we're going to just look at one thing and that is recording multiple MIDI keyboards simultaneously. This is something that Logic is actually horrible at in comparison to other digital audio workstations and sequencers. And that's for some reason when you go into your instrument over here on the uh, properties, we have the ability here to choose between MIDI channels but not between MIDI inputs. Now if we want to take a little closer look at this in the environment then you'll see here that uh, under clicks and ports it shows us our signal chain here for MIDI and we have the physical input. If I had an interface attached it would show up here and then it goes through just the input notes we have a little input monitor and then into the sequencer input. Now the sequencer input is really where the issue is because if we go straight into the sequencer input like this, it doesn't matter where the source is, all of them are going to end up in the same input here to the sequencer. And we don't get to choose that out by different uh, instruments or physical inputs. They're all just kind of going the same funnel. Now we can, there is a way in here to attach a physical input into a specific channel, but that's kind of a tedious way to do this. And if we want to have two or three different MIDI uh, keyboards all attached, let's uh, create a new, uh, just an external MIDI track. So say we have one here, one here. Typically the one you select is the one you're going to have live input from, but we can re record on multiple channels. And on each of these, choose a MIDI channel input. And with this, we then go to our keyboards and we choose each of them to have the output MIDI channel that matches. So the first one would be channel one, second one channel two. Now most MIDI keyboards allow you to choose the, the MIDI channel output if yours doesn't, then figure out which channel it's on. If it's on one, then set the one that is changeable to two or etc. Put the instruments you want on each of these. The key though is in your project settings. We have to come in and have this set to auto demix by channel if multi-track recording. That means that once that is turned on, and it's turned off by default, that means that you'll have the MIDI information per each of the instruments on the correct channel and then the correct track. If you don't do that, then it's going to end up being all put together. So you need to make sure that that option is selected. Okay, now that you have this information, you can go set up your whole keyboard rig and record tons of MIDI instruments at a time, technically up to 16. So if you're doing more than that, Switch to Pro Tools.